career. The world number 17, 23 year old, takes on er Erotti Cure of Tahiti. Tahiti, unranked, is Erotti. So that should be a fascinating encounter. Again, first meeting, as are all of these, of course, because the Tahitians haven't had a lot of sort of tournament experience, really, particularly against the nation like Korea. So we have the Indonesian umpire in the chair for this one, Latif Johari, and a Finnish service judge as we await the uh, walk on of our players. So tight mixed doubles unfolding over on court one adjacent between Chinese Taipei and Germany. Chinese Taipei just uh, picked the opening game, 25 points to 23, and they're at uh, sort of one all in the second game over there. So that's a tight one. Remember, the Germans need to win to keep their qualifying the quarterfinals campaign alive. So our players are on their way. It's just a bit of a hike, a bit of a bus ride down here to <laughs> get to court two. And they've got to walk behind court one. So of course it's about when they release the players to make sure there's no critical moments uh, unfolding on court one. So no distractions for the players adjacent. First sighting of Kim Ka Yun. Competitively, it was Anse Yong that played in their opening match against Germany. And here is Eroti Kure of Tahiti. Okay, so Mademoiselle Curé elected to receive Kim Gao. Will that stay at the end that she arrived at? And having spoke to my esteemed colleague and former world number one, Morton Frost, who's uh, in the adjacent commentary booth with Jill Clark, he was suggesting that it's a relatively slow haul, tough to kill the shuttle. And uh, the slower side is the side of Kim ga Eun right now, with the very, very marginal drift maybe blowing towards her face. So 23 years of age, one meter 74. And uh, ranked 17th in the world is Kim from Ulsan in South Korea. Just one spot off of her career high. Four, two, play. Eroticule, 16 years of age, one meter 70. So just four centimeters shorter than her opponent today, the 16 year old. Uturoa, she's from. On the French Polynesian island. Looks very glamorous, doesn't it, whenever you see pictures of Tahiti, the place you want to be. She'll have a work cut out today. I don't think the scoreboard will look too glamorous shortly. Let's say hello to uh, Abdul Latif Yohari from Indonesia. Keeping a beady eye over everything. Good efficient umpire. And Mr. Timu Varonen of Finland as the service judge. Well, Kim Ga Yun, you have to go all the way back to Syed Modi and the Macau Open 2019, where she posted a couple of semi final showings. There's been the odd match since, but uh, no quarterfinals or beyond since then, really. So her best years came a couple of years ago, as I say, back in 2019. 
not an awful lot to post since then, but hopefully she's uh, on the upward curve, ascending to elevate her ranking of 17th in the world. And obviously unranked for this uh, Tahitian 16-year-old. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tahiti represented by Hira Kea Kure. And on my left, Korea represented by Kim Gunner. Korea third level play. start from the Korean tearing away wheel spinning off the start line as anticipated the precision and pace is imposing from the off She, that uh, mercenary just wants to get the business done, and then there will all be sort of smiles and happy faces at the end of it. But let's just get the result in the bag. I'm sure she's thinking, and of course, from her perspective, it's about sort of keeping the discipline, the focus, and just doing what needs to be done today. Erotti's perspective again, rather like a compatriot. Here they on the earlier. It's just about trying to salvage some pride and get something on the board to relax and free swing and enjoy yourself. But it's hard to when you're playing against no, so no. much quality in Kim Gayun. out so there is indeed a point on the board for Mademoiselle Curie. Uh, for this 23 year old you have to go uh, back to the Bonnie China Masters two and a half years ago where she won her last title. She's been three times a runner-up in the US Open. The Norwegian International and the Irish Open as well, plus the quarterfinals of the Guangzhou Korea Masters. But there we go then, we're to the turn already. 11 1 it is in terms of points after just three minutes in favour of the Korea. <laughs>
masterful. Everything's just got so much on it, hasn't it? Now they're really quite tight to lines without being dangerously so. Got plenty of pace and uh, explosivity on tap for Kim. And of course, Schiller spent a lot of time in the company of Anse Young as well as the Korean number one who's not playing today. She'll be rested, but she'll have spent a lot of time hitting shuttles with her and, of course, taking experience and a lot from the youngster as well. And I would imagine kind of helping and almost sort of semi-mentoring the youngster as well in her formative years. Well, it's all on the racket of Kim Gaon right now, isn't it? She's playing such a con controlled, aggressive badminton. Just a little greedy with her target yeah, there, Kim. Oh, she's made a challenge here. First challenge of the match. So the hand elevated of the Indonesian umpire to gesture that we need to go upstairs. The beating heart donating exactly that. Yeah, way out in badminton terms. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Sarasova, 3 18 played. 17 10. A little shard of light for the Tahitian here. Clever little flick serve as well. She's clear thinking, which is encouraging. Good control and poise from the Korean number two. First game in the bag for Kim Gaon. Eight minutes, all that she needed, and just the loss of five points. 21 5 career in the box seat.
for two twenty seconds. For two twenty seconds. Poised and ready to pounce. Kim Gayon again to the good. Ready for game two to unfold. Second game, level play. Yeah, wonderful cross net that uh, set the point up beautifully. Just a little dithering there, wasn't there, from Hiroti. Must be quite fun, quite liberating when you, you know, when it does feel like it's so lopsided for, from Kim's perspective to suddenly get out there and be able to boss the show, you know, quite comfortably, as you see there with that lovely cross block. But of course, this is years of taking hard losses, the school of hard knocks, that's what pro sport's all about over the years. And, you know, there's only one tournament winner every week out of, say, 32 or 64 contestants. So you've got to get used to losing. It's as simple as that. And frankly, a professional's job is to deal with it well and stay on the log. Because there's always another opportunity. You're only as good as your last performance. And for Kure, she just has to keep digging deep, going point by point, working as hard as she can. You can only do your best. That's just slid wide as well. So again, the scoreboard pressure weighing heavy on the Tahitian shoulders right now. Having uh, managed to engineer five points in that opener, should be keen to better that score in game two. That's always a good goal for young players. Seven left. Oh, that's just missed. Cheeky little attempt, though, from Kim. And her coach will be looking for business-like application and concentration and focus from his charge on court today. No doubt he's got multiple options, though, the Korean coach. It must be a real nice headache to have, really. Who do I play? You know, he can rest and see you. She's uh, saving all of her fortitude for uh, really tough tests down the road, which is always a luxury from a captain's perspective, but it's managing those egos and just giving them enough haul time without overdoing it. It's so lovely though to have a, a big squad of high quality, I'd imagine. Just spilt over the back line. 11-1 in the ball. So a mirror image of the opening game. The Korean getting to the turn far quicker. 11 points to one. Thank 
of um, French Polynesia. Six. One famous tennis player from French Polynesia, Fabrice Son Santoro, who's now turned into a very, very high-level commentator, Fabrice. Double-handed both sides, he was. Great player. So the clock is ticking for the Tahitian here, under a great deal of pressure, unable so far to uh, engineer anything near as much encouragement as she did in the opening game. Smash from the top draw from Kim Gatlin. She's going to put the lid on this right now. A 17 minute affair. And it was won by the Korean number two, Kim Gatlin. 21-5, 21-2, 17 minutes, all the world number 17 needed. For her Ticule, oh, back to the drawing board. Plenty to work on, hopefully she'll take the positives and the upside from this experience. An enjoyable opening game, but unable really to follow up with anything substantial. But taking seven points off the world number 17, well, that's, that's okay, can build on that. But it's Korea that head out to a two-love lead in the overall score in this tie already. And we will have men's doubles and women's doubles and mixed doubles left to come. But there's confirmation of the scoreline. Just 17 minutes needed for Kim Gaeun. Next up then, it's Kang Min Hyuk, 22-year-old Korean, alongside Kim Won Ho, and they take on Alaas Mobrock, the young 14-year-old, and we have uh, Yvonne, 14 and 17 years old, the Tahitian. So uh, don't go too far if you want to catch a glimpse of that one.
Did you know there was almost 180,000 islands around Finland? And uh, when you look at Finland from the air, it just looks like an intricate sort of green and blue jigsaw puzzle, frankly. It's quite something. When you come into land on the aeroplane, you think, what's all this? It's just odd to look at. Beautiful scenery. Here we go, back into the arena. Keep on the business, Paul. Come on, here we go. So two matches down already with three to play. We're on to men's doubles next. Kan min Huk and Kim Ron Hu. Take some uh, Mont Blanc. Yes, Mont Blanc. And uh, with uh, Eva 